Ladies, it's Andrea for Fab at Any Age. Today we are going to interview a fabulous holistic nutritionist to the stars, Sally Kravitz. How are you? I'm great. So we are in her office today and we are going to talk about a very special subject, <laughs> one that I'm really interested in, and that's sex at 60. Oh yes, and beyond. <laughs> and beyond. Maybe a little before, but that's something we really, really have to learn. Well, I just got married. Oh my God. And, and I'm 60. Well, there you go, ladies. Let's hear some more. You know what's the, one of the best things about sex from 60 and beyond is you don't have to worry about birth control. Oh, okay. <laughs> rule number well, that's rule, rule number one. one. You don't no. have to worry about it, and we know who we are at this point, right? right. We know we can let loose, and at this particular point. Right. Now, one of the things that women have to have to have, you know, some people say, "Well, gee, did I dry up?" Right. You know, during that I time, know. some people will have that experience. There's certain nutrients mm -hmm. we can do, but women need to feel relaxed. So the first thing we need to do, we need to pamper ourselves. That's a huge element for being so fabulous and having fabulous yes. sex after 60, is to take care of us. Right. So we need to be relaxed, we need baths, we need things like lavender oil to relax us, music. We need to light up all of our senses. Like candles. Candles, all of that. So having our <laughs> senses lit up, feeling good, milk baths makes our skin really uh, silky okay. and helps to clear out your auric field, things like that. We need exercise. One of the things that happens, and it happens to all of us, you know, unless you've had a tummy tuck, is that that lower part of the belly starts to drop. Right. So doing things like yoga and Pilates and uh, weight training, weight which training, I teach the ladies, wonderful. That we need to do that, but getting that, you know, that bladder lifted and the uterus, all those things start to drop a bit. So we have to kind of ignite that. Then we want to watch our food, you know, during this time, and we want to have foods that will um, enhance our our feminine and enhance our libido. Okay, what foods and, are those? Well, I'm not a chocolate person, but for chocolate, it sometimes lights it up. So if you're going to go for chocolate, go for like that 70% or greater dark chocolate. You know, stay away from the milk right. chocolate. One of the things also, get off for the thyroid gland, get off of all artificial sweeteners and make sure you put in things like something called stevia. And the best tasting one is liquid stevia. Really? Yeah, it's a plant that's been used for about 1,500 okay, years. Okay. And then you might want to enhance it with like some seaweeds, like spirulina. And then, if you're having a problem, you might want to go for those hot herbs, those things that kind of light your fire. You know, and, and Wait, stimulate you that. Hot herbs. And stimulate it. Well, there actually is a company called Hot Herbs. Okay. And, and they make it for men and they make it for women. So the ingredients that light up your libido, right, right. one is an amino acid that's called L arginine. Now, that stimulates, that sends energy My to that husband first takes chakra. That. No, it's just for men and for he women. Takes that. But you have to be careful if you have high blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. And then there's one called uh, Damiana that also kind of lights that one up. And then there's one called horny goat weed, and that's aptly named wow. <laughs> because it really lights it up, especially for men. But for women, again, back to it, if we would do like a quick synopsis of what's best for right. that is to be relaxed, to pamper ourselves. We have to give to ourselves. We can't come from a drained place, right? right? We have to get that exercise in. We want to get in really good food that feeds us. You know, being having a diet that's really high in veggies. I'm the veggie well, juice queen. I, and I talk to the ladies about yeah. veggies all the time. Yeah, and veggie juice veggie especially juice. instantly gets to your right. cells and makes you have a body that right. fits and supports you. And maybe you need a few herbs. Maybe you need a little B12. B12, if you have a, a problem with, t if you're taking medications, B12 is a good uplift. Right. Good Royal jelly. Again, that'll uplift you a bit. You can always go that hot herb brew. Sounds fabulous, ladies. Um, we're gonna buy some of this stuff and see if it works. Anyway, goodbye for now. At Andrea at Fab and Any Age.